you've touched on EPA, DHA. Talk about the balance between the two, and is that something when we're looking at product that we need to be aware of as well? Yeah, and that's an area of, of great interest, partly because in one of the new pharmaceutical agents coming along is just EPA, mm. no DHA. <clears throat> um, and they're, again, trying to get an a indication for triglyceride lowering. Uh, that's what they're after. Uh, but the, the question comes up all the time, which is, which is more important? Is, is EPA more important for heart health or DHA for brain health? And uh, there's a lot of hooey around here because we really don't know. We really don't know. Almost all the data we've had over the last 30 years about heart disease, brain disease, comes from studies in people who eat more fish or less fish. In fish, you get both EPA and DHA. They're both there and varying amounts, depending on the kind of diet you're eating. And so, and most of the, the, the data we have on clinical trials from supplements um, has used products that have both EPA and DHA. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's my, what I usually tell people is try to get both of them. You wanna get both EPA and DHA in a product. There's, there's no solid evidence right now that you can just take a DHA rich product and get all the heart benefit. Nor is there evidence you can take just an EPA-rich product and get all the benefits. I think we just don't know yet. Uh, there is a lot of interest in this, because there are companies that make just DHA, mm. and uh, they are funding research and clinical trials with DHA. There are companies that make just EPA, and they are funding research. So we will know, as time goes on, what the individual effects are as well as the combined effects, because there's more, more research going on in that world, too. So I always say try to get both of them. Uh, ratio, something between one part, one to two or two to one, meaning it could be a little richer in EPA than DHA or a little richer in DHA than EPA. That, that's fine. Just don't do 10 to one or one to 10. You know, it's, it's try to get roughly the same amount of both of them. That's, that's the best approach, I think.